theory through paper constructions. I am your host, Dr. Lawrence T. Sane Jr. As I used to tell my students, I am the only sane person here, but you may have your doubts by the end of the course. In this episode, we will introduce some of the supplies that you will need if you want to work along with me. The patterns for each of the models that we will build can be found in dynamic paper constructions for easier visualizations of molecular geometry. Uh, this article was published in the Journal of Chemical Education in 2010. It is volume 87, issue 8, pages 827 to 828. You can print out the patterns for each model using an inkjet or laser printer. The patterns can be printed directly onto colored paper, construction paper, or poster board. I have also printed out some of the patterns onto fluorescent colored index cards size 4 by 6 inches. Uh, I used to tell my students that there are three cool features of any laboratory experiment. Pretty colors, bursting into flames, and explosions. Since university administrations justifiably frown on fire and explosions, we will stick to pretty colors. We'll need a pair of scissors uh, to cut out each pattern. Scissors are sharp and can cause both slashing and puncture type wounds. Be careful with the scissors. To bind the patterns together, you can use something like a glue stick. Elmer's glue wall will also work well. Uh, be sure that you have adequate ventilation whenever you, you are using glue. Many of the patterns will require subsequent folding. To make the most precise fold, you can use a process called scoring. And to score, uh, we need a knife blade, kind of like an exacto knife. Uh, be careful. Uh, knife blades are extremely sharp. They can cause very severe cuts. Do not use them when children are nearby, and be especially careful uh, to properly and safely dispose of used blades. A metal ruler is also very helpful in making precise folds and for measuring out patterns if you, know, you decide to make your own types of patterns. I can't think of any common hazard from a metal ruler, but metals are capable of conducting an electric current, so be careful with a metal ruler near electrical outlets. Push pins will also be used in the models. Push pins are a distinct choking hazard for infants and small children. If you leave a push pin on the floor and later step on it, this can cause a painful puncture wound. Puncture wounds are particularly implicated in tetanus. Pipe cleaners. Pipe cleaners will be used for both rotation and inversion operations. Pipe cleaners. And I must say that there is one last danger. The last danger, the one about which we should be most concerned, is that group theory, like all of mathematics and chemistry, is highly addictive. Viewer discretion is strongly advised. Next time, episode two. Have a good one.